Ready? Ready? Set. Okay. So what you just saw in the last sparring session was a 39 second sparring session. Each of these uh, gave us a total of how much we were hit and how much force we hit with each punch. We each possess two sensors on each of the chest protectors. So sensor one, as you can see, the number of hits was one with the pound force of 12. Sensor two got hit with 32 pounds of force, but it was divided amongst two hits, each being 16 in force. Sensor 3 was hit once with 4 pounds of force, and then twice with 4 pounds of force apiece, giving the total score of 12 and 32 to 44 pounds in total being hit on sensors 1 and 2, and 4 and 8 giving a total of 12 pounds hit in this inspiring session the sensors number three and four hit by. Down here will register you some of the hits that have been hit for how much force during much times and if the hits registered as actual uh, with enough force to be picked up by the machine. So as you can see, the first hit was on sensor two for 16 pounds. The second hit has zero because there wasn't enough force implied to give a good reading. Under here is the subtotals for all of these, giving you a good average of everything that was hit during the 40 seconds. So which of the uh, two competitors won that match based on the number of times they were able to hit the opponent and with the amount of pressure applied with each hit? Well, both opponents hit each other the same amount of times, three and three, but the total amount of force given is to sensor 1 and 2, given it the total of the 44. So sensor 1 and 2 would have lost the fight, and sensors number 3 and 4 would have won because it took less damage. Okay, now how do you see this to be beneficial for a dojo that's uh, using these sensors, let's say working with children, how would that be beneficial? Well, the big benefit is not only does it register which hit would hit first, so in case of uh, clashes or balls, it will give you a registration of which sensor was not only hit first, but how much force is implied, leaving it to be able to provide a safer uh, fighting or sparring um, environment, knowing that you can maintain and register knowing which hits or who's hitting who uh, above a certain level to All provide right. less damage. So if uh, competitor A and B started to fight with this particular program, it's called one-on-one, -on -one. the first hit, you can, re you can uh, program it so that the first hit will register, and if the hits were really close together, the machine still will be able to discern which hit hit first. Correct. So that's, that's a great advantage. It's, you know, even uh, teams are out in, in regular competition. This is often an issue where both competitors throw almost simultaneously but yet the referees and the judges are unable to determine which attack registered first. Correct. The machine is able to determine this. And the uh, sensors are good for up to 40 feet away from the machine, which uh, is really good. Hi there, this is George Matson, and I wanted to give you a little more information about the Herman Interactive Training System, in case anyone is interested in ordering one. I've been using this new Herman wireless unit for a couple of weeks now, and it seems as though every time we hook it up, we come up with a new way in which it can be utilized. Today, after breakfast, Tim and Mac accompanied me to the dojo, where we experimented embedding two sensors in the center of two foam rubber chest protectors to see how the sensors would react to different strikes. Every hit over 4G force will register a number on the computer. Among other things, we discovered that the program can accurately determine which competitor hits first and the g-force of that hit. Striking within an 8 or 9 inch radius around each sensor will be picked up and will measure the g-force of that strike. 
Naturally, the closer one hits to the actual sensor, the more g-force will be generated and registered on the computer. Instead of using sensors on the body armor, it can also be inserted in the gloves or foot gear and would therefore register as a hit whenever a punch or kick.